Chopper 4 flew over the scene as police investigated tonight. You can see the blocked off area covered several blocks. People were told to stay inside their homes until officers found the shooter. Casey Geraldo spoke with neighbors about what happened. Casey. Julia, as you can imagine, this was a terrifying sight for neighbors tonight, many of whom didn't hear anything or see anything until all these police showed up. When I was sleeping, I thought I heard sirens, but I thought it was all just a dream. These lights were no dream, but the stuff of nightmares. As I'm trying to get out one way, there was a cop with a rifle. Yellow tape everywhere. It's supposed to be a peaceful neighborhood. And wake up to a bunch of cops all around. Dozens of police officers responding to what neighbors call a quiet neighborhood after a man shot and killed three people. It's unnerving when something this magnitude kind of happens right down the block from you. It's kind of scary. I mean, y you never know. Especially for families. I just told my kid to keep all the doors locked and just don't let anyone in. And to try to calm down my mom a little bit. Um, she's kind of nervous right now saying that could happen to any anybody anytime. I don't know. <laughs> this intense police presence makes some skeptical about their neighborhood they once felt safe in. You have to keep your eye on everything that goes on around you. Certain things like this you kind of take notice of and you kind of question where you're living and if you should be, you know, protecting your family and kind of maybe moving out. But officers say neighbors are no longer at any risk. I talked with one neighbor who says she's lived here for about 10 years and has never seen anything like this. But like Jonas said, police do believe the man who allegedly shot the three people did know them all. Live in Milwaukee, I'm Casey Geraldo for today's TMJ4. Casey, thank you.